Hello, I'm VJ Karana. Welcome to My Australia, the show about people from overseas having Australian experiences. Coming up today, Ken gets involved in politics on state election day, Michelle volunteers for an animal welfare organisation, and Raymond goes to a trash and treasure market. Now, in Australia, it's compulsory to vote, which means that a state election day is pretty busy for everyone and Ken's getting involved by volunteering for a political party. My name is Ken Matahari. I'm from Indonesia. I was born in a city called um, Yogyakarta in Indonesia. It's kind of similar with Adelaide because it's very small and it's cultural. It's very different from, say, Sydney or Melbourne. I came to Australia two years ago as an exchange student um, for a year. Then I decided to transfer my whole degree to Flinders University in Australia. I'm doing Bachelor of International Studies, majoring in International Relations and Development Studies. I live on campus with four other people. So um, one Canadian, one Japanese, one Australian Filipino, um, one Australian. So yeah, living on campus is really convenient. At the same time, it's also enjoyable because I live with people from all different cultural backgrounds. My mom is Chinese Indonesian and my dad is Indonesian, so even within my family we have cultural diversity, so I'm very used to it. And when I came to Australia, the diversity was even more stark because people come from all over the world and um, at some points you might feel that it, it is not easy to relate to people from different cultures. But what I found really helpful was just um, being out there and try different things and not not feeling afraid or anxious about anything, so just be open to for any possibility. Okay, so today I'm helping with um, state election day. Um, basically wearing this green shirt because I'm helping with the Green Party. And generally, I'm here also to learn the whole um, voting process because this is going to be my first election in my life too. I haven't done any election in my life before, even when I was in Indonesia. So um, yes, I've done politics theoretically, but I have no idea how it is practiced um, in real life. So this is going to be great. Okay, today our job's pretty simple. Uh, yeah. We're handing out these hand to vote cards uh -huh. to voters. Yep. And essentially, uh, these cards explain to the voters uh, how, if they want to vote for Greens, yeah. how they can do it. Yeah. And we just got to try and convince as many people as possible to do that. Okay. I'm feeling a bit anxious because I don't know whether I will learn fast the whole system or not, but yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So how do we um, give this? Just greeting the people and then explain the policy or how? Yeah, just greeting the people and um, just, you know, ask them if they would like to vote green or yeah. maybe if they're interested in any one of the Greens policies, like yeah. social justice. Mm -hmm. Hello, Green Party. Well, I think the Green because of its progressive policy. The Green advocates for social justice, which I personally identify with. And um, I like how the Greens try to also defend the rights of minority groups. The Greens? Oh, you've got a Green? Oh, thank you. Hey, I'll grab one of Thank you. I guess all the parties congregate outside to try and get those last minute votes where if vote is undecided, maybe you can get them to change your mind because mm -hmm. in the end, every vote counts and this is such a close election that mm -hmm. it, it really does. In South Australia, there are about 48 different seats. It's called a seat, I suppose, because it represents a seat in Parliament where a representative for that area sits. Okay. So, so people who live in that area have the opportunity to vote for who's right. going to fill that seat, yeah. if you like. Mm -hmm. I have never found myself so curious about politics, except on this day. I don't know why, because probably I'm surrounded by politically aware people, so I can ask any question about politics. Where does the Greens, what, what's their views about disabilities? And I heard you said something about social justice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so does that incorporate people with disabilities as well? Yes, I, I think so. Um, I'm not sure about the details, but I've read briefly that they're also um, interested to advance the interests of people with disability. Certainly, yeah. Because yeah. we, you know, what we've noticed is how vulnerable people are. We, I have personally have a, have a son who is um, just got off a waiting list for mm -hmm. a wheelchair, but it was two and a half years before he got his wheelchair, mm -hmm. and we don't get any respite time. So mm -hmm. to us, it's a really important issue. Mm -hmm. Yes, certainly, it makes all of this process more relevant to me because um, I never quite understand how 
voting and how election relates to daily lives of people. But now that there is someone coming up to me saying that um, she's got a child that has disability and that's why she's voting for this Dignity for Disability party, I can know how people vote because yeah. of their personal circumstance or their family circumstance. I've learned that politics in Australia is slightly different from politics in my country because people have to vote here. If they don't vote, they will get fined. That's probably why a lot of people in Australia have to be politically conscious and have to be politically aware and get involved in um, domestic politics. I am curious to see the voting room. I have no idea what people do inside the voting room, but I heard it's pretty secretive. So yeah, I'm looking forward to finding out what's going to happen there. So this is the place where people come in to fill out their um, ballot paper and then submit their ballot paper. So this is really, really important. After the polls close, they will start um, collecting all the ballot paper and secure them in a safe place, and then they'll start counting. I'm wearing this shirt because, yes, it is new, but it's not because of that, because um, um, I'm not allowed to wear any partisan outfits. And this is because this is, I, think, I guess, the place where people put their the vote, so you're not allowed to com do campaigning in this room. Now it's six o'clock and everything's finished. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, so we'll just pack up our bits and pieces and now we're going to head to the after party where all the volunteers and the candidates for all the um, seats that we've been voting on, yeah. uh, they're going to be there and they're just going to enjoy a bit of a celebration and hopefully someone gets up and into Parliament. Fantastic. <laughs> So what, 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 what's happening on the um, screen? They're reporting uh, the count so far. So far the Greens are looking, uh, they're doing a pretty good result. Yeah. So our hard work hasn't gone to waste. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, poster votes have to come in. Yeah. And they count the poster votes last. And... Is, it, is it usually... Um... I'm here as a part of the Greens Party. I'm the Australian Greens candidate for Norwood, and um, this is our celebration of all of the effort that we've put in today. I haven't done any election in my life. Oh, okay. That, this is the first election. Yeah. Even though I can't vote, but I, I see the whole process. But by doing the how to votes, that means that you can, you know, well, well, get your opinion out there, get your exactly. say out there, which is really important as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Meeting the candidates was a very extraordinary experience because I finally get to know what the party was all about. Not only from the big picture perspective, but also from her individual perspective, from her personal, personal perspective. By volunteering, you might add up some additional one or two or three votes. You might not think it is significant, but if there, there are 10,000 people doing that, it is of course going to, going to make a difference. He's really had a, been hands-on and involved in the process and I think he's learnt a lot as well. I think we had a lot of fun. Look at this here behind me. There are a lot of people having fun after doing all the hard work. So it's been a bit of both, a serious thing but also fun at the same time. So I'm really grateful that I took this opportunity to attend uh, an election day the, with the Greens. That's Ken getting some first-hand experience with Australian politics. Now, I don't know about you, but I love animals, and animal welfare groups do a fantastic job caring for animals in trouble and encouraging responsible pet ownership. And Michelle is about to help out with one of them.